Hey guys, um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to replace the, the factory Atwood rod holders that come on the, uh, mine's a 2021 um, Carolina Skiff 21 LS. I believe it comes on all the, the LS models. Um, I didn't care for how the, the Atwood rod holders were on the boat. They sat too low. They're kind of a pain in the butt to use with all the Velcro and all that. So I found uh, a solution. I got the, the Taco 4 rod rod holders. Um, and the way the brackets are set up on it, <clears throat> it really needed a piece of starboard to, uh, to be able to use the same holes that were already drilled on the boat. And also bumping it out an inch with that starboard made it so that when the rods are in it, they're not up against the sidewall of the boat. Hey guys. <clears throat> All right. So this is, um, the, the starboard quote unquote, um, material I got it's actually a cutting board now it's it's made of HDPE um, same stuff that starboards made out of except it's way cheaper if you just get it as a cutting board for some reason so this is a one inch um, 12 by 18 and what I did for the job is I just measured four inch sections four inch I cut that with a, a 10 inch miter saw I just cut it across so I got my four, four inch sections. So I wound up with a little bit extra piece out of the center. So once I cut those, I just sanded the edges just to make it so they're not sharp. Sanded down the edges. Um, <clears throat> so this is the part number. Uh, it's a Winco, I guess let me get a Winco CBXH1218. I got it on Amazon. I think it was 25 bucks. Um, so one inch material, it's uh it's pretty good for the price. All right, so the first step is to remove the original Atwood rod holders that were on the boat. <clears throat> now I'm gonna drill out the hole a little bit to a eleven sixty fourths. I just put a piece of tape on there so I don't go too, too deep. I actually run the bit backwards just so it doesn't try to dig too hard. Notice when you take those off that the gel chip, the gel coat's all chipped up. That's just from them not countersinking before they do anything. All right, next I've got the piece of uh, cutting board. It's one inch cutting board that I've drilled. I used to temp to use the Atwood rod holders as a template, and I countersunk the holes so that the new screws would fit flush. So, I'm just going to take that and test fit it. And this is the bit I was using to uh, drill out the uh, existing holes on the boat. I just took some tape, put it there so I didn't go too deep. That's a uh, 11 64ths. So now I'll just take it back off. Okay, so now you can see I've got that plate on there, that plate on there. I'll go ahead and give you a sneak peek of what it'll look like after I'm done with the other part. The final product, there it is. Much, much better than those Atwood junk they put on there. Now you will notice that I have mounted mine a little higher and it kind of comes up over this pad so I just sanded that down because I wanted it up higher so then I can actually utilize all four rod holders as opposed to the way it was before where I couldn't use the bottom one because the reel would just lay on the deck. 
just kind of pointless. So stand by and I'll show you the way I attach the rod holder to the starboard slash cutting board. Alright, this is the rod holder I got. It's a Toco bungee rod holder. It's the four rod storage holder. PO3134W. I'll show you how to install it. Okay, so the way I set mine up is I've got my piece of cutting board slash starboard here. When I cut the starboard, I cut it into four four inch widths, and then I just put my original Atwood holder on here as a template. Just got it centered, drilled my holes, and then used a countersink to countersink those holes. That way my mounting screws will mount flush. So anyway, <clears throat> you've got your Toco rod holder here. These uh these little mounts come separate so you can move them up and down on this piece. So what I did is I just I got it to where the bottom is lined up with the bottom of the puck. Right there. Looking straight up and down, it's look kind of lined up. <clears throat> And then I got this this piece centered between these bolt holes on the bottom and then just lined up at the top flush with the top on the other one so once you get that where you want it you just take this you drill the back it includes a little screw to attach it there so you do a little pilot hole there and then install little screw so I'll do that and come back and one more thing is I do countersink that little hole because it doesn't it didn't come countersunk for some reason but if you don't countersink it then that screw is not gonna sit flush so it'll wanna sit with a hump there so I just did used a little <clears throat> hover freight countersink and just hit it there that's a little countersink Okay, so that's the screw. That's the bracket on there. I'm gonna do a pilot hole. I can't hold the phone and do it, so stand by. Okay, so there's the pilot hole. It was a 564 inch drill bit is what I used. So now I'm gonna put the screws in. Okay, so that's it with the screws in. And then that just goes on here. Get it lined back up. It's actually lined up on the bottom. It's a little bit of a camera trick. It makes it look like it's overhanging, but it is flush with the bottom. I get that line back up like that. That at the top, and then do my pre-drill for these. All right, and to mark my pre-drills, all I do is stick the screws in there. I kind of press down and turn, and I can take this off. Just barely starts and makes a mark for me. So then I can grab my drill bit that I've got marked with tape so I don't go through it. I just marked it where it's not quite through. So I'll drill those out and come back. Okay, those are pre drilled. Now I just take Sorry, it's all over the place, but you get the idea. Let's put those screws in. Screw it all down. I'll be back. Alright, so that's what it looks like <clears throat> after you screw it on there. So, I'll do the same thing with this one. And I'll get back to you. Okay, so again, I just lined up on the bottom. 
I got that one centered between those four bolts. I've got that one lined up at the top. So then I'll drill the holes on that and mount it. Okay, so there's my pilot holes and going to put the screws. So there's the drill bit I was using. It's a 964. That was to uh, pre drill for the uh, bracket onto the starboard. Alright, guys, so as you can see, it started pouring rain on me. So it was a mad dash to get everything in the truck. And I did, uh, I did go ahead and install this. Sorry, I didn't get any video of it, but I was trying to, to beat the weather. But basically, you know, all I did was once I installed this onto the starboard, I just uh, took a little 5200, stuck it on all the all six holes that were in the boat, stuck the screws through, put a little 5200 on the back of those, and then screwed it in. That way, it just seals those holes up from the factory and hoping it'll protect that gel coat a little bit where it was cracked out. But uh, that's the end result. I think it's going to work really, really well. Far better than these crappy Atwood rod holders that came on the boat. I just really didn't like them. So <clears throat> I hope that helps you guys out. If you got any questions, um, feel free to message me. Uh, if you, I'm not sh sure if I covered like all the screw sizes and drill bit sizes and all that, but I'd be happy to answer any questions in the comments. So, good luck guys, tight lines. Alright, so I noticed I forgot to uh, give the screw sizes I used. Um, so the screws that hold the starboard, the one inch starboard to the boat itself, they were number 12 by one and a half. And the screws I used to hold the, the taco um, brackets to the starboard, those were number 10 by one and a quarter. And then the only other thing I saw was that the, uh, the one drill bit I used to drill through the starboard, I can't remember what size it was, but I just used one to, so that the number 12 screws had a little play. Um, it wasn't a tight fit so that they have a little wiggle room when you go to screw it into the the side of the boat um, so you don't you just don't want it the screw real tight in that starboard you want it to be able to move around a little bit all right thanks for watching guys uh if you liked the video if you would hit like and uh subscribe I'm trying to get this thing kind of started do a few little boat tutorials and whatnot but uh bear with me with the editing uh this is the first time doing this stuff so thanks